Hi guys, and welcome back. And today I am starting a new series again. I am going to be playing Game Dev Tycoon. Um, if you don't know what this game is, this is a game where you develop games, pretty much. And you slowly progress through the game, and that's as far as I know so far. I haven't really played it that much. I played like a couple of, did a couple of games for it, and that's about it, really. So start off, you make a company name. Um, I'm not sure what to call it, really. Hmm. What it is? It's something to do with our the YouTube channel. What is the model games fit? Oh yes, player name. Would it? Obs. Right. Let's have a look. Any hair that suits me. That's about closest to me. Um, any nice jumpers. That'll do. I used to have a jumper like that about five years ago. Right then. So this is where you start off. I've skipped the tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing anyway. So you click here. Well, click anyway. Look. Click there. Click there. Oh my god, it's so spectacular. Develop a new game. And you start off with these four topics. And eventually, as you get research points which are there you can make more well research more topics and you eventually get all the way down there and adapt, I get to about there and then I stopped and then did a let's play on it so yeah um, first I'm gonna go off with a medieval hmm roleplay game on the PC because if most of you know the N N G64 just eventually disappears into oblivion and never seen again so we'll go with the PC and you get to name all your games so let's think um let me think destroyer I can't spell destroyer okay I'll leave that um killer of kings dun 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 that sounds kinda cool then I can make a sequel. Yes. Right, we're gonna have 2D graphics version 1. Start development. Killer of Kings. Right. Have a look. Right. Ending. Um, I want a goodish ending. A good game. Well, an average game. A good storyline because everybody loves good. Well, I don't know. I'm just a role play a bit, a bit there. Engine needs to be quite good. Gameplay can have full. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll do. And as you play along, you do get research points, and you also get design and technology points, which has just been covered up. Thank you, game. Hey, you're my favourite. Uh, uh, dialogue not really needed. Level design would be kind of cool. AI, yep. A bit lower level design. And also, as I was saying, you get technology. But as you go through the game, as you do any game, you get bugs. So that's the disadvantage of making big games. Right, world design. World design, great. No, world design, but wait, what? Graphics, sounds, yep. Uh, and you just have to do, like, there's certain topics you put with certain things. So, like, you don't really want to put a simulator with a, um, I don't know, say a medieval game. You don't really want that. Get rid of that bug. There we go. Finish. But, you, but people are like medieval and RPG. So, yeah. Look, new topic. New combo. Great combo. Yay! And as you go through, you upgrade all your things. So, like, so I've upgraded. But your best thing to upgrade is your graphics, because then you eventually get really good graphics. And I've put it up to a maximum of 35 years of gameplay, so then I can, like, make my own console eventually, I believe. I'm not really sure. And you can do all sorts in it. So, let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, I saw a 10. Ooh, I saw a 10. That's about it. Has its moments. Oh god, this is a bad game. Oh great. Ah oh, well, I don't really mind, it's only my first game, to be honest. And then, see how good it does. And, oh, What is Immortal Games, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Killer of Kings. The game received its favourable rev favorable review, can I say that word? With such a good start, we, what is the model games are sure to game fans quickly? Probably not. I'll probably like fall flat on my face like straight away. I'm proud with that. 3,125 in this first day. 
That's well, first week shall I say that's not bad. Uh, I got I told you to skip the tutorial game. Now that your game is on sale, yeah, 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 yabba yabba yabba. You can pause the video if you want to see that. Yay, we need twenty cents. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Dang. Oh, research. Yes, I know all this. Hint. Yes, I don't care about hints. Right. Right, I'm going to go for the fantasy stat research. See, you research um, all different topics, as you saw there, as well, pirates, sci-fi, fantasy, and something else, I can't remember what other thing was. Also, you can look at your game history and see how bad you did in the past, and how bad I'm going to do in the future. <laughs> I'm probably going to do all these this series until I fail, Paul, but, or I just get too much money. Oh, fantasy, yay. Right, let's well, develop a new game. New topic. I know I've just done a lot of fantasy, but I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to do a military action game on the PC called Tank. No, yeah, Tank Destroyer. Why, do, why am I addicted to Destroyer? Tank Blower. Yes. That funny twist on it. <laughs> Image show. Start development. Right, engine. Quite good. Uh, about there for engine actually. Starline quest would be quite good. We're making pretty much a really bad early Call of Duty. This is going to be a really bad game because it's an early Call of Duty. <laughs> Any Call of Duty is bad to be honest. Right, dialogue. Not there. Um, level design, yeah, AI, no, dialogue could be quite good actually, because then you get to choose, the, yeah, instead of people just talking really badly, oh, how much did it make, 8,000, that's alright, I lost a lot of money like, I think, but, profit, oh, I'm a profit, oh, I'm happy with that, even though I started off with 70k somehow, oh no, I didn't, uh, it cost 39,000 I only got 23,000 back. Oh god, that game flopped like mental. Mm, got some more research points. Yeah, I know it's outselling. It did that for a while, then it died eventually. The PC is still around. The G64 isn't. What does that tell you? Right. World design. No, back there. Graphics and sound are you probably the main bases of your games, they'll probably boost your game up to max. Oh, come on, give me ten. Yeah, I got ten on both. Right. Iron out all the bugs on his really bad computer. And finish. Tank blower. My character's now leveled up. Right, release game. See how bad this one does. Reviews. That still did crap. Oh god. I keep failing. <coughs> Hopefully this does a bit better though. Now I've got a few more fans. Yes, I know you seem better. Oh, I got six! Thank you all games, I love you. Mwah. Right. Let's have a look. Tank blower. It did, too. It did worse. Right, um, quickly make another game so we don't slowly die and run out of money. Right, fantasy. Pick genre. Adventure fantasy on the PC. Let's call it. Hmm. Dungeon. No. Um. Dragon. No. Drag. Dragon. Dragon. Walking with dragons. Yes, walking with dragons. What was the worst name ever invented for a video game? Right, hi there. I've just finished Tank Blower. <laughs> I'm impressed by your talent. I am in co in a, the contracted business. We could use your skills like skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know, and we'll see. What Work for you. Jason. Okay, thank you, Jason. Yes, I know. Right. Engine. Meh. Gameplay. Yes. Squadline Quest. No. Engine. Yes. Engine can be brilliant. Everybody loves a bit of engine. 
Alright. According to rumours, the Japanese company Invento is planning to launch its very own home game console. The Invento is wildly successful arcade game Dinky Kong. Okay. The Invento will deliver. It probably won't deliver. Alright. Oh wait, that's the NES. Ooh. Might get a contract with that. Because on this game you need to get contracts with certain companies. Ooh, oh, this is not, I don't think this is going to do well either. I think I might just flop instantly with this one. World is like, yes, graphics. No, uh, uh, sound a bit lower. Uh, world design, yeah. Right. This, this one don't really need sound. If you're walking with dragons, it's going to be raw. That's about it. I'm probably next. I'm probably going to make a space game. That'd be kind of cool. Like a space simulator where you are the moon. That'd be kind of cool if you was the moon. Might do that. That didn't go out. Do it. Oh, level up! Yeah! Wow, I leveled up a lot. Alright, release the game. That did worse. Wow, Liam. What the hell? Oh. Okay then. Right, that failed. Right. On that note, I'm going to go now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like down below. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Right, until next time, guys. Bye.